We did not see a lot of mask wearing or social distancing after the Bucks won the Super Bowl. And now Hillsborough County health officials have released some data regarding COVID transmission linked to the game that was played nearly a month ago at Raymond James Stadium. And that is where we find eight on your side's Melanie Michael tonight. Uh, so this did not turn out to be the super spreader event uh, so many had feared. Well, Keith, good evening to you. You know, the Super Bowl officials, as well as the county health department, say this was not, as you mentioned, a super spreader event. Today, health officials in Hillsborough County provided details that they say show low numbers of coronavirus associated with Super Bowl 55. The county epidemiologist said they know of 53 cases in the state and four outside of Florida where people tested positive for COVID after the Super Bowl and game related events. The four cases outside of Florida include Illinois, Michigan, Hawaii, and North Carolina. The epidemiologist went on to say that the most transmission during the time of COVID surveillance came from private gatherings in homes or unofficial events at bars and restaurants. Plain and simple, our, our collective job was to work together to mitigate risk, and the results shared today show that's what happened. The Super Bowl was not a super spreader. The CEO for the Super Bowl host committee said that every step of the way, health and safety were the driving factors for every decision that was made, and that the findings from the health department support that. According to the Florida Department of Health summary, one out of every 4,700 attendees at the Super Bowl tested positive, and that includes game-related events and the game itself. Outdoor events were spread out had strong health and safety measures such as mandatory masks, health screening, social distancing, fan safety managers, and so much more. Most importantly, we want to thank all the team Tampa Bay, as well as our visiting fans for doing their part to keep others safe. By the way, this COVID tracking data was from the NFL experience the day that it opened until the boat parade after the big win. We are live tonight at Raymond James Stadium. I'm Melanie Michael, eight on your side.